Hello and welcome back to part 2. In the first part of this episode, we had a go at making the spinning wheel. So, this time, we'll be making the loom and the stove. And if you haven't already downloaded it, you can find a link to the PDF file down in the description. So yeah, let's make a start. Okay then, for the loom, we'll cut out these two side pieces and we'll glue those to some thin foam core. Um, just like before, I'm using some foam core that's 3mm thick. Anyway, there we go. Next, we'll take some of the wood texture that's as big as the foam core piece and glue that to the reverse side. So that we end up with something like this. Then, once that's had plenty of time to dry, we'll cut those out with a sharp knife. And just like we did with the legs of the spinning wheel, we'll cover up the exposed edge with another strip of the wood texture. And uh, that's all I'm doing here, um, just using the trusty glue stick as normal. So I'll just trim away the excess, and there we go. That's what it should look like. And of course, we'll need to do the same thing with the other piece. Okay, next we'll take some more of the thin foam core and cut out a strip that's as wide as it is thick. Basically, so that it has a square cross section. Then we'll wrap that strip in some more of the wood texture and cut out two lengths that are both three quarters of an inch long. And while we're at it, we'll also do a similar thing with a toothpick and cut that to a length of one and three eighths. Okay, now for the assembly. So, here's all of the pieces that we just made, and we'll make a start by adding a spot of hot glue to the end of one of the foam core strips, and gluing that near to the top of one of the side pieces. And as you can see, I'm using the grid of the cutting mat to make sure that I glue it at a right angle. Then we'll do a similar thing with the other strip, and glue that a bit farther down, um, somewhere near to where the side piece widens. Then all we'll need to do is glue the other side piece in place. So I'll apply a tiny spot of glue to the ends of the foam core strips, and glue on the side piece. And there we go, that's the basic frame done. Okay, now we're going to glue on the toothpick. So I'll just add a little blob of glue on both side pieces, around halfway up, and then glue the toothpick in place, um, like you can see here. And when we're done, we should be left with something that looks like this. Right then, next we're going to take some more white cotton thread, and we're going to fix the end of that to the underside of the loom with some super glue, just like we did with the spinning wheel. So, here I am holding the thread in place until the glue sets, and, uh, and there we go. Then we're just going to start wrapping the thread around the entire piece, leaving a tiny gap between each pass, just like you can see here. But uh, yeah, that does take a little while, but uh, with a little bit of patience, it should end up looking something like this. Okay then, so once we've reached a point where we're happy with how it looks, we'll add another spot of super glue to the final wrap and hold it in place until it sticks. Then the only thing left to do is trim away the rest of the thread and uh, for some reason this took me several attempts in this example and, uh, and when we're done we should be left with this kind of thing. And while it's not a really accurate representation of an actual loom, it, it kind of looks the part and I think it works well enough for the tabletop. Anyway, now for the stove. So for this we'll take a piece of thicker 5mm foam core and cut that to roughly two and a half inches square. Then we'll take the wall piece and using the glue stick again, we'll glue that in the center. Like so. Then we'll cut out the plain wall piece, apply some glue to the back and stick that to the other side. So something like this. And once that's dry, we'll cut it to size with a sharp knife and we'll also cut out a strip of the wall texture that's the same thickness. Then, as you've probably guessed, we'll glue that around the edges to hide the last of the foam core, um, as you can see here. 
So if I just cut away the excess, stick the end down, and bump my leg into the table, you, uh, you can see the kind of thing that we're aiming for. Okay, next we'll go back to the thinner three millimeters thick foam core, and onto that, we'll glue the top of the stove. So, uh, there we go. Then, once dry, we'll trim that to size, cut out a piece of the plain texture to wrap around the edges, and, uh, and then glue that into place. It's very similar to everything else we've been making in this episode, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay then, for the final piece, we'll glue the main stove texture to a piece of thin cardboard, and before we cut it to size, we'll first score a couple of lines between the location marks that have been provided on the printout. Like so. Then, we can cut it to size. And once that's done, we should be able to fold the piece along both of the scored lines, and that should result in something that looks like this. Okay, now for the assembly. So the first thing we're going to do is take both of the stove pieces and we're then going to apply some hot glue to the underside of the foam core piece, just along the three edges. Then we'll glue the cardboard piece into place, with the aim of having the top piece overhang the front and the sides just a little bit, but keeping the back edge flush. Um, you can see the kind of thing that I mean a little bit better here. Right then. Next we'll apply a thin line of glue to the back of the foam core and glue the stove so that it looks like it's sitting inside the archway. So, something like that. Then, for a bit of extra strength, I also like to run a line of hot glue along the inside joins. Um, I'm not sure that you can see it all that well, but, uh, but this kind of thing. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Um, that's the completed piece. So, as well as this stove, we also have a loom, and a spinning wheel to add to the collection of terrain pieces that we've been making. So yeah, I, uh, I do hope that you'll be able to put some of these to use. Um, I think I'll be using them in some kind of haunted house scenario myself, but, uh, but do let me know if and how you might be using them, as I do enjoy reading through the comments. Anyway, I... I think that's it for another episode. Um, I do just want to thank you all for watching as usual, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.